area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Use a dummy. 2020 sniper, it's a rap like a mummy. I've been eating all these beats, man, it's showing in my tummy. Hey, hey, you already know what it is, man. Before you peep the Queen of the Ring predictions and all of that, I want y'all to check out King Jigawatt featuring Jerry West Money Bags, yo. They made a video. The, the, the production is fire. Everybody's in it. You know what I'm saying? I, I definitely got to peep it more than once. It's going to be the, pre the sponsored video for about a week or so. Uh, these guys put in that work, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a street feel. It's a street vibe. Uh, it's got a good bounce to it. Um, I actually was digging it, man. Jerry West got a fire verse on there. I seen my man Pretty Money in that joint. Also, EJ Always. You know what I'm saying? The whole family, they put together pretty dope video. You know what I'm saying? It's a good concept and it's a good video. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to the bag. Gang. You already know what it is. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, gang, gangs. Every single one of y'all out there that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. Debo, Debo, before you put a fork in me, take this walk with me. Salute to every single one. Again, yo, heir to the throne four, queen of the ring. I'ma just give y'all my, my final, my final, final, final predictions of these battles, who I feel like is gonna win. What the intangibles are, Queen of the Ring is putting together this card. It's going down June 26th. Big, big deal. Because so around this time last year, if you don't remember, I had made a blog. I had said Debo needs to get in his bag. Queen of the Ring is a viable brand. What are we doing here? The brand is not moving. Y'all not building. Y'all don't got no real, there was really no dope events going on at the time. There'd be a couple of female battle rappers sprinkled here and there, but I'm talking about the brand, like the big, the big ticket. Where are the ladies? What is going on? Why is the movement not moving? I said this, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't trying to create a narrative, but I was saying what I was saying because it needed to be said. And I know that a lot of people watch this platform, you know what I'm saying? Um, whether religiously or in passing, and some people just come here to get their information, their news, to see me and Showtime SP vibe and chop it up. We will be back together full time in about four to five weeks. Me and my man Showtime SP will be in the same building, same venue. I will be retired. We will be working together. It will be back to normal. I thank everybody who's been watching this content since we have been separated. And that was January. You know how long that's been? But I appreciate it. So we're bringing the team back together. So um, you got this card going down. It's an electrifying card. It originally had Miss Hustle vs. Coffee Brown. Official vs. Gaddis, 40 Bars vs. KCJ, Shuni vs. Vixen, E Heart vs. First Lady Flames. This card, from top to bottom, is fire. The only thing missing, we know what's missing, we know who's missing. Jazz, the rapper, versus Misfit is not on the card. Now, I'm just gonna tell you, like, what I heard, and then, you know, I'll just get into, like, the battles. From, I heard from one side that Jazz wasn't taking the battle on short notice. Then I heard Misfit wasn't getting paid what she thought or what she feels like she deserved. And who am I? I am nobody but just a nigga with a camera. So I cannot tell somebody what they feel like or what they deserve in a battle. That, I would never do nothing like that. That's one thing I'm not going to do. I'm not going to say if somebody wants X amount of dollars, they're not worth it. Like, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? If you can't get paid on earth, this big worthless kid, you don't even deserve to live. So whatever is going on with that. I hope they get it rectified and solved soon because we want to see the battle. I mean, I've wanted to see the battle for at least two years now. And it's starting to become almost like a Mayweather Pacquiao thing where when the battle happens, will we really care about it because it's been drug out and pushed out for so long. But like I said, I heard it's uh, dis disagreements on both sides for whatever it may be. Miss Hustle versus Coffee Brown. Um, I did do a blog about that. You know, Coffee Brown was in her bag. She was trolling Miss Hustle online. She was doing everything from getting pictures of when she got her body done to putting out screenshots of her. And everything that Coffee Brown could do right in promotion, she did. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was going in. Like, she was... When I first saw the announcement, I felt like Miss Hustle lyrically was going to get that one. But after all of the promotion, all of the shit talk, all of the back and forth, 
I, I went Coffee Brown's but I was like, yo, when, get, get, get. Where, when you start rapping like that? When did Coffee Brown start getting in like that? And then, um, unfortunately, last I heard is Miss Hustle was involved in a car accident um, and whatever the case may be. And then Coffee Brown even went in about that, you know what I'm saying? saying she only had an ace bandage and she wasn't really hurt. I'm not gonna tell, like that's another thing. I'm never gonna tell somebody how much they should get paid. And I'm never gonna tell somebody how bad they are injured. I was not involved with it. I don't know, I wasn't there and I haven't even spoke to her so I don't know. But what I will say is that battle hopefully can happen in the future. I know Coffee Brown says something that she's not gonna do, but whatever. Let's move on to what's on the card. Still fire, 40 Bars versus Casey J, Official versus Young Gaddis, Shuni versus Vixen, E Heart versus First Lady Flames. I want to start with E Heart versus First Lady Flames. First Lady Flames has had such a dope come up. Like seeing her battle against Vixen, where a lot of people felt like she was not going to beat Vixen, um, that battle got pretty debatable. I ain't going to it got, oh, you like them debatables. That thing got a little debatable. I ain't going to hold you. I definitely had uh, First Lady Flames winning a round or two of that battle. Vixen did a thing too. Matter of fact, I had First Lady Flames winning that 2 1. Come on, Slip Fan. When you start recapping like that. I don't want First Lady Flames, do not take this video and go get online emotional. Like you said in your last week. <laughs> don't do me like that, man. I'm just a nigga with the camera. It's crazy how our opinions don't matter until our opinions matter. I have First Lady Flames getting past Vixen. I ain't gonna hold you. Um, e Heart. <sighs> e Heart is a legend. E Heart gets busy. E-Heart does a motherfucking thing. I don't feel like E-Heart got a lot of the credit that she deserved in her battle rap career, but she's here. Her last battle I had her get, I think it was K-Shine, K-Shine dog walked out. I didn't think that was a battle that she should have took anyway. That K-Shine battle was, K-Shine not a battle that you just take, like I want to I wanna see K-Shine. E-Heart would have probably been safer versus Danny Myers or versus the Shotgun Sugar. I think it was supposed to battle that he did. I don't know what happened with that, but she probably would have been safer with one of them. K-Shine is not the person that you just want to um play fair in daycare with. Um, the winner of e Heart and Lady Flames is going to come down to who gets their material out cleaner. And right now, that's been First Lady Flames. The experience goes with e Heart, but e Heart hasn't had one of them battles in a little minute. Like, she needs one of them battles that's going to put her, catapult her back to that spot where she was at. Because she's had battles where she stumbled, she's had battles where she's choked, she's had, like, a couple bad performances. I don't know what's going on. e Heart. I need you to get it together in this one. Um, for the record's sake, I'm going to just go with First Lady Flames 2-1. It is what it is. Um, Vixen, the Assassin versus Shuni. Shuni is dead night. Shuni just had a battle with RX where I had her beating RX. Shuni battles male. Shuni battles females. I seen Shuni and Fetty versus Jack Boy and First Lady Flames. That was a fire-ass battle. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I really rock with what Shuni does, you know what I'm saying? As a battle rapper and as, you know what I'm saying, she's married. Her and Fetty, their family life and all of that. Salute to all of that and all of that. But uh, Vixen gets busy. Uh, Vixen lost to Loso. Uh, Vixen's going to come out with a vengeance. Uh, she should come out with a vengeance. But the thing, like, I don't know what's been going on with Vixen's flow recently. Like, like I don't know, bro. Like, is it the twerk thing? I don't fucking know. Everybody got that. The, the gun lifting. I gun hit him. Like, I don't fuck. I, I'm not hating, man. Please, this is not a narrative, man. I, 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 this is just what I've seen, man. I call it like I call it, so I can't spoil it. Uh, Shuni gets busy with the flow. Shuni's able to get into different pockets of flow. Vixen gets nasty too, though. Like, like that's a battle. I get one battle of the night where I say it's debatable, and I say this one is debatable. This is possibly the battle of the night. Two one either way. Whoever wins the third round gets this battle. Um, Young Gaddis versus Official. Gaddis comes back to Queen of the Ring. I seen Gaddis in like one rounder versus Lady Caution. She did her thing. Um, I seen her versus RX. She beat RX. I did have a win in that one. Official is official though. Official's home is Queen of the Ring. Official does rarely ever gets rattled on Queen of the Ring. Official does her motherfucking numbers. Uh, Gaddis, if you're going to beat Official, you're going to have to show me. You're going to have to show me that you're going to beat her. I can't just go against everything that Official does in her body of work. Her body of work bodies some work. And she definitely has smoked a lot of people in that Queen of the Ring circle. Uh, she beat 40 in their, in their battle. Um, she she definitely she lost to Cortez, but that's a man on URL. I'm not I'm not surprised at that. Like losing to Cortez is not a surprise to me. Cortez beats a lot of people, and he he gets undervalued for the work that he does. Um, Gaddis 
If Gaddis would have never stopped battling, she probably would be at the super, super, super to the top. She in and show the world that she does her thing and that she's able to perform at such a high level and do numbers versus an official. But at the same time, official needs to, uh, official can't lose to Gaddis in this setting on this stage. Like there's no way that she could lose and, and make it make it count, you know what I'm saying? Like she got it, she got to show up. Like she has to show up. Uh, she's got the punches. Gaddis got the flow. I got official two one though. I'm just saying it is what it is. I I, I call it like I call it, so I can't spoil it. Forty bars versus Casey J. Uh, they've been doing a lot of shit talking. It's been a lot of back and forth. It's been a lot of everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, this battle's one. Of, it, it should be one of them ones. It should be. Uh, Casey J. Got far in the tournament. Got to Gichi Gotti. Gichi Gotti was a roadblock. Nobody really thought. I don't think anybody really thought that she was going to beat Gichi Gotti. Um, that that battle was not the greatest for her. But she had battles where she beat other people. She beat Twerk. She beat Prep. Uh, she had Bonnie. She beat Bonnie. So she's been doing her thing for quite some time. And she catapulted herself from a lower, like lower good name to like damn near one of the top names in battle rap. Smack called her the face of battle rap. But now you're battling the face of female battle. Be called the face of female battle. Now you're battling one of the face, face, faces, and that's 40 bars, one of the highest viewed female battle rappers ever. Somebody who's able to get in and out of pockets of flow, somebody who can beat you at what you do. Um, this battle really has 40 bars name written all over it to win. It has 40 bars. She should be able to win a battle like this and just show the levels between the two of them. If she loses though, if 40 bars loses to KCJ, it's going to automatically catapult KCJ to the top. And um, there probably won't be nobody that's going to catch up to her this year. Because there's not enough, I don't think there's going to be enough cards for anybody to really knock her out of position. If she, with what she did in Ultimate Madness, and if she beats her 40 bars clearly, this shit could get kind of murky in the waters. But I hope for her. I got 40 bars winning the battle 2-1 though, um, lyrically. Um, Cause the thing about KCJ, KCJ is dope, but like sometimes, like in her battle, she'll have long stretches of material that just does not hit. I don't know why. I'm not I'm not hating. I'm just calling it like I call it. But she'll have these long periods of material where it's just, what are we doing here? But if she can get to the punch fast and be able to land a lot of them shits, she can beat her. Um, overall, the card is dope. It's only four battles, so it should be a short night. Thank God. In recaps, that we don't have a card with ten battles on it. Um, it's dope. We'll see what happens. Salute to Queen of the Ring and everything that they got going on. Debo, I like this one. Keep, keep the ball rolling, my G's. Okay. Border Patrol, all for the low. Cop a phone, Border Patrol. Speaking code, get you a phone, you can call me up. I only came for the racks, this is Mardi Gras. I'm on another level that you'll never be in. Funny how I know your plug and you never seen him. When it come to broke niggas, I am never worried. Legendary nigga, what's a boss to a secretary?